let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, thank you very much for your blessing throughout the week. Thank you for protecting us. This morning as we come to worship you, bless us. Send your Holy Spirit into our heart. Let this, let this worship be a blessing to you and to a blessing to each one of us who are here today. All of this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning comes from the book of Genesis chapter 13 verse 18. I read, Then Abram moved his tent and went and dwelt by the turbine trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and build an altar there to the Lord. Good morning and happy Sabbath to all of you. I want to welcome you to our Sabbath worship service this morning. And uh, first of all, I want to bring you greetings from the Education Department of Peninsula Adventist Mission. Yes. This morning, I want to share with you from the book of Genesis chapter 13. The book of Genesis chapter 13 speaks to us about the need of possessing spiritual eyesight. I want to take you one text in the Bible that is found in Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2. I read, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Wow, this tells me that as a child of God, I can look up to my Father in heaven. It also tells me that my mind and my eyes should always reflect on heaven. Now look at verse 2. It says, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Now, the story about Abram and Lot, particularly the separation between Abram and Lot that is written in Genesis chapter 13 verses 14 to 18, gives us a very good example about having or to possess spiritual eyesight. And if you have your Bibles with you, let's turn with me to Genesis chapter 13 verses 14 to 18 from verse 7. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. There was issue and the issue was about space. So there was quarreling involved here. And this quarreling or this strife has caused, create unnecessary tension. You see, when our comfort zone has been in truth, we feel uneasy. We feel restless. We feel angry. So it creates unnecessary tension. Second thing that I see here is that it forces Abram and Lot to make decision, immediate decision. Now, from experience, from the previous chapter, we see that Abram wasn't good in making decision because he was still new in his faith and he was learning to trust God. But nevertheless, they had to make an immediate decision. And this decision will affect their personal relationship. It will affect the relationship with their children. It will affect the relationship with God. Now, the third thing is that it will affect their spiritual eyesight. Whatever decision that they are going to make, it has to do with how they look at things. And it has and it will affect their spiritual life as well. In Genesis chapter 13, verse 10, it says here, And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered 
everywhere. Lot and Abram, they were on a higher ground. Instead of looking up to God, Lot was looking down to the plan of Jordan. Perhaps he was thinking about home. He was thinking about um, of Ur, the land of Ur. He was looking into the plan of Jordan and it was beautiful. Now, what did Lot saw? He was looking for himself or he was seeing himself more than his family. He was thinking about himself more. Maybe he was also thinking about making better business deal with the people in Sodom. People come from the north, come from the south, come from the east and the west. They come to Sodom to make business. And so he was thinking about himself and he was thinking about if I'm going to move my tent, it is going to be near Sodom where I can where I can have more better business deal with the people in Sodom. Now, perhaps Lot also was seeing to, to have better education for his children. Yeah? He was looking for good opportunity for his, uh, for his children to study in Sodom. Perhaps they have the best university, they have the best school, they have the best professors lecturers, doctors, nurses in the city of Sodom. But one thing that we can say as Lot was looking down, he saw opportunity rather than spirituality. He was thinking about more about opportunity, opportunity for business opportunity for education, opportunity where he can grow his wealth. Now let us put aside the story of Lot. Let us concentrate on Abram. In Genesis chapter 13 verse 14, if you have your Bible again with you, I read here from Genesis chapter 13 verses 14. And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot has separated from him, lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. Wow. He says to Abram, Abram, look. As far as your eyes can see, from the north to the south, from the east to the west, all of this land I will give it to you. While Lot has chosen to move down to the plain of Jordan and set his tent towards Sodom, Abram, on the other hand, chose to lift up his eyes to God. In verse 18, and I want you to notice something interesting in verse 18. Then Abram moved his tent and went and dwelt by the turbine trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. There is something beautiful here. First of all, you see that Abram lifted up his eyes. Second thing that what he did was that he moved his tent. He was moving toward south from Bethel. So he was going toward south. And when he came to the south, the next thing that he did there was that he built an altar to the Lord. This tells to me and to you. Most of us here, we move from one place to another place. But brothers and sisters, wherever we move, whether we are called to serve in, in down the south, whether we are called to serve in Sabah, in Sarawak, here in Penang, or in Kuala Lumpur, do not forget to build an altar to the Lord. Wherever we move, we should put, 
put God first in our life. There are three things that we can learn from what Abraham saw. And I want to share you these three things here. Number one, Abraham saw that his relationship with God is important. While Lot chose to move his tent towards the plain of Jordan, while he moved his tent facing towards Sodom, Abram, on the other hand, chose to lift up his eyes towards God. He moved his tent. For Abram, what was important to him was his relationship with God. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8, it says, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Abraham was learning to trust God. Abraham was still new in his faith, yet he learned to trust the voice of God. It was not an easy journey for Abram. It was not easy for him to move his tent from one place to another place. But he did it because he had faith in God. James chapter 2 verses 23. And the scripture was fulfilled which say, Abram believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. Isn't that beautiful? Abram, in his course of his journey, knowing this God, became a friend of God. And I believe you and I too want to become a friend of God. The second thing that Abram saw when he lifted up his eyes toward heaven is that he saw that religious education environment was important to his family. Abram was an educator. In the book Education, page 179, it says here, God called Abraham to be a teacher of his word. He chose him to be the father of a great nation because he saw that Abraham would instruct his children and his household in the principles of God's law. Of Abraham, God said, I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. Wow, is that wonderful. God knew that Abraham would be an educator and he would teach his children the principles of God's law. Now some of us here are students. Some of us here are doctors and nurses. And some of us here too are educators. Perhaps there are many of us here are parents one thing that God calls us to do in the context of education is to continue to educate our family, our students, our community, the principles of God's law. I believe we can do that in many ways. And I believe that each one of us are called to be teacher of his word. The third thing and the final thing that Abram saw when he lifted up his eyes towards heaven is that Abram saw the importance of trusting God. As mentioned earlier, we see that Abram became a friend of God because he learned to trust God. And I believe this is a very important point especially to you and to me living in, in, in this situation right now where the future is really uncertain. We can choose to trust God. We can choose to fix our eyes on Him. Spirit. I want May to God fill you with hope today. 
May God fill you with all the joy and peace. Despite of what is happening around us, we still can find joy. We still can find peace. We still... Brothers and sisters, let us possess the spiritual eyes of Abraham, which teaches us to fix our eyes on God by learning to trust in Him each day. My prayer for you today is that God will protect you and take care of you. May you have good health and that may you will be blessed despite of this situation. Let us continue to fix our eyes on Jesus. Thank you and God bless you. Let me end this worship service with a word of prayer. Our loving Heavenly Father, thank you very much for the story of Abraham, which teaches us to possess spiritual eyes. Help us, Jesus, to always focus on you. Help us that we may walk according to your will. Protect us this week. Bless us in many ways. This is my humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.